Mav, we have a very busy day. Oh, all right. We have a very busy day today. Look what we got. Ooh, the cameras. Yes, sir. We're getting some work done today. The Civic is about to be insane. What is up guys, welcome back to the videos. If you guys haven't seen the last Civic video, you definitely need to go check that one out. We got the new TE37s for the SI, but as you guys may have saw, they didn't fit the best because they are, these are super aggressive specs. So I asked all of you guys what camber arms I should get specifically for my car, and the most suggested camber arm was the Skunk 2. So I went ahead, got these, and... Now today, we're gonna make these things fit. So first off, in the front are actually all four corners. We need to roll all of the fenders and adjust the camber plates for the Fortune Auto coilovers, which, by the way, worked out really, really well. I went ahead and finished up one side just to make sure that everything was gonna work out, and it actually fits perfect. The fenders rolled. When it sits on the ground, it looks amazing, right? Yeah, it's like lined up to right here. You can see the, it's right where this line is. You see the Yokohama perfectly. Yes. And we lowered it a quarter of an inch and it sits like perfectly, not too low, not too high. So we're gonna go ahead, start out today's video with the passenger side and then move on to the rear camber arms. And I think this thing's gonna be perfect and ready to drive today. All right, one thing that we need to do that I absolutely just like hate doing is rolling fenders. Pretty much all of my wheels are super aggressive. I've had to roll all of my, all of the fenders, all the fenders on pretty much all of my cars. But with this one specifically, this car has crazy fender liner and it has tabs on the inside, which I had to take off the fender liner, go in and cut all of the tabs off because when you roll the fenders on a Civic, it leaves like indents if you don't roll or if you don't cut those tabs. One thing Thing I have to be very careful about while rolling these fenders is not getting the bumps on the outside of the fender which are very very common when rolling Civic fenders so my goal right now is to like try my best not to get those indents but I'm gonna go ahead and roll this front fender once we do that we're gonna remove this coilover in here adjust the camber plates up top put it all back in and the front of this car will be done so let's do it all right Fender is rolled, looks pretty good. Now that the coilover is out, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we're adjusting the camber plate on top of the Fortune Auto <laughs> yes. suspension. There, there we go. go. These are just real tight, you know. These arms put them on. <laughs> there we go, okay. Boom, now we have full camber. Now this will help us a lot in fitting the new wheels, so we're gonna go ahead and throw these on. We'll set the car on the ground and just double check to make sure that everything works. And well, I think we should turn the wheel this time, Maverick, just to make sure. All right. All right, bro. Moment of truth. Coilover's in, we adjusted it two and a quarter. Right. Put two lug nuts on and we'll drop it to the ground and see what it's gonna look like. Oh, you need the blocks yes. and all the underneath. <laughs> Dude, that's still not even. It's rubbing on this side? Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. This side we messed up. Look at this side. Oh, this thing's tucked perfect. We can pay attention to that. Is this side lower, maybe? It's that piece in the way. You might need to just grind it. All right, guys. We gotta go more. We gotta go more. This side's literally perfect. perfect this side's money. No rubbing there. It's the other side. This is the life of cars. You think something's gonna work? We, this has to leave at seven o'clock. What time is it now? We it's have... 4.21, can't see anything. It's 4.21. We have two and a half hours? Yep. I don't think these bad boys are going on. Yes, today. they are. Yes, they are. We're gonna do it. <laughs> the coil. You uh, have to put it down. Oh. This should just be a bloopers video, honestly. <laughs> the amount of bloops we got. Uh, ridiculous. All right, well, I clearanced it, so I mean. Hey, at the end of the day, it's not rubbing. Six time is a charm, right, Maverick? Yeah. Right. This is for real the bloopers video. <laughs> We're, cleared. We're cleared? We're cleared? 
Because I was so bad. <laughs> and I quit. I quit. <laughs> Blue Freeze video. The question is, should I roll the back fenders? With the camber arms? Yeah. Yeah. Roller. Alright. Mm -hmm. Good news. Fender rolling in the rear went very, very smoothly. Thank God. I'm literally never going to roll fenders ever again in my entire life. Now we're moving on to the Skunk 2 camber arms back here. Super easy, you're just, replete, you're just replacing the stock upper control arm here and this is gonna give you tons of adjustability with these two bearings right here. I get you call these bearings, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like two bearings right here. So I'm not 100% on how to adjust. I'll probably leave the adjusting up to place where I'm gonna get my alignment at, but I'm gonna go ahead and start replacing the upper control arm here. So this is actually super simple. You have one bolt up here and then you can't really see, but in the back there is one bolt on the, on the right and one bolt on the left. So let's go ahead and get started. So I think the best plan of action here, Maverick, when we get this out, we should just, I think we should just measure the stock camber or the stock upper control arm versus what the uh, the new upper control arm looks like. And then we'll, we'll close it in by an inch. Cause I think the further it is in, the more camber you're gonna get. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sounds right. All right, now I just have to figure out how to get to this bolt. Okay, yes. Thank God, dude, it just literally comes right out. All right. Let's see, where are we at? There it is. Yes! All right, we're getting upgrades today. We are doing some upgrades. Give me, let's see this, let's compare these. Well, automatically comparison. So you extended it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I extended it because I didn't know how much toe we wanted. But this is automatically, look how flimsy this looks and like just yeah, solid. Yeah, this is this super feels. nice. This is super nice. Okay, uh, maybe we should just have it all the way in. I say we leave it all the way in. And then, yeah, it might be too much, but what the f Do you see what's going on here? <laughs> I'm gonna put this all the way in and have it all the way set in because I honestly have no idea how to adjust suspension. I'd much rather leave that to the- Professionals? Yeah, to the professionals. So when I take it to 714 tires, which is like who I take all my cars to, I'll just tell them that I'm gonna need lots, lots of camber just to fit the car. It can always be adjusted whenever we take it to alignment. Oh, because you don't want to do it another day. Fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. This is the worst. <laughs> All right. Great news here. We have one in. Me and Maverick did try to adjust it, but I'd rather not make it harder on the alignment shop. So I left it. We measured it to the stock length. So I probably will rub a little bit <laughs> on the way to the alignment shop, but at least we have the arms on. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the wheel on to see if there's any adjustability. I doubt that there is, but let's see. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. hey, I have a new appreciation for Stan's voice like no other. Okay, okay, but looking, like, look at this side. Look at this side and then look at that side. Like, there, we definitely did a little bit, right? We did a little bit. Oh, yeah, like maybe a fraction of an inch, but it, we're good. So once we're done with this side, we're gonna go ahead and throw this in real fast. Once we get done with this side, we'll take it for a test drive, see how bad this thing is rubbing, and then decide whether or not if I can make it to the alignment shop. Since we showed you the other side, I'm just gonna go ahead and time lapse this one, but basically, basically the same idea. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the fenders and then move on to actually installing the camber arm. This is the last piece of the puzzle. We're so close to being done. All right, let's do it. Oh no, that was, this was, we had to, oh. so we had, we had to, we had to, such, such a brutal job. We had a long day today. We finished it up, we're gonna put this freaking wheel on, we're gonna take it for a quick test drive and see how much, 
we actually didn't really do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, how much rubbing the car is actually gonna do. Hopefully, I clearanced enough. Hell yeah. Dude. Yo, this That's side looks perfect. so good. Yeah, so okay, so if we, when I go to the alignment shop and I tell them to match this side with that side, or match that side with this side, perfect, dude. Yeah. Like, no rubbing for sure back here. Perfect, okay, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the garage. So I said in that I have this car. <laughs> A little bit of rubbing still. That was good. All right, Mav. What was that? That's a little bad. It's this tire right here. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, like this video, you think uh, it doesn't suit a Porsche? What? Look, we got enough problems to deal with. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think we're going back to the drawing board. That way it's good. Uh, all right, done for today. I think that our answer is gonna be to raise it just like another half inch. All right, day two of the video and I had to take the Civic out because it looks absolutely incredible. We've got the fitment perfect on the car now with the GE37s and I had to come do a photo shoot with them because it literally looks exactly how I imagined it and how I wanted it to look. So we dialed in the camber and the rear and the front and we also raised the car both in the front and in the rear about an inch, about an inch or like an inch and a quarter. So we haven't gotten an official alignment on the car yet. So I'm not sure on the amount of negative camber that we have, but I'm sure it's around like negative two-ish, I would say. So not too much and the car runs great. So I'm very, very excited about that. But before we get too much farther, since we just finished up the car and it looks great, I wanted to come out and shoot it. And on Friday, we have a huge announcement about the Civic and we are dropping a brand new merch line just for the announcement. And it's actually super, super awesome. I am so, so excited for this stuff to drop. It's 10 a.m. Pacific time along with the video on the Civic on Friday. You guys are not gonna wanna miss it. I think you're gonna be very, very excited about what I'm announcing. We are gonna have two new t-shirts. We have this one as well as the black one that I'm wearing. This is a special one that you guys can't really see until Friday. You'll see the back on Friday. But we also have a pretty awesome, we've never done this before, a pretty awesome white hoodie as well. So the hoodies are coming back and here's the back of the hoodie as well. Pretty much just like the gray t-shirt, except in white and it looks so awesome. It's gonna be pretty cool. I'm, su I'm super excited to release everything for you guys. This is some of my favorite stuff that we've done. Check out this little this little mark right here. Without limits is what Mugen means. Then we kind of integrated the Honda with the Legends logo. So this is all coming out on Friday. It's gonna be dope. The car looks absolutely amazing with the TE37s. We're gonna go ahead and do a little shoot now. Just finishing up the shoot on the Civic and 
Lucky enough, this is one of the coolest spots that we have around us and a super awesome R35 and 240Z just rolled up. Here's the, uh, the R35. Full bolt-ons, E85, rotiform wheels. This thing is so nice. Wow. Definitely GTR goals. Move on back here. They are shooting the 240Z in the back over here. That thing fully restored, pretty much all OEM, which is really, really cool. L24 on the inside. Still can't wait for mine, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The wheels look absolutely amazing. If you wanna see some pictures that I took today, follow the Legends Media page, it'll be on the screen right now, and stay up to date with all of the merch because the new stuff that's dropping Friday, you guys are not gonna to wanna to miss this and the announcement for the Civic. I think you guys are gonna be really, really stoked on it. So, ooh, just one last look before we end today. Actually, I'll show you the Z over here too. And we got the Z. Oh, such a clean Z. If Tiana was here, she would literally die. This is like, got the fender mirrors and everything. It's perfect. Just the lighting and everything with the Civic. It looks so good right now. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that little shoot. It's so awesome. Got to meet the owner of the 240Z and the GTR. Super cool guys, and hopefully get to see them around more. But get excited for Friday. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video right now. We have tons of more amazing mods coming for the SI. You guys will learn more about on Friday. But thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.